Darren Wells, and I'm the director. So the warehouse is about the this place where people go to kind of be punished or tested for their their worst flaws. They end up staying there the rest of their lives or until they're sent somewhere else or whatever. But uh, this story in particular is about a guy named Artie who gets sent there for being lazy, but really his, his main thing is not laziness, but it's fear of failure from his relationship with his dad. So when he meets somebody named Boo and she helps him to figure out what's going on with his issue, with his laziness slash fear. And so you have to figure that out before the end of your first shift because it's a night shift and by 6 a.m. you have to figure out what your issue is so you can get out of it. Otherwise, you can never leave. And so uh, she helps, helps him figure that out and he escapes and actually takes her with him. My name is Elisina Eck and I am the first assistant director, the, the first AD for the shoot. First ADs typically essentially run the logistics of the set, make sure we stay on our timetable for the day, um, coordinate with all the different departments, making sure that everyone's ready to go when everyone's ready to go. Rolling. Take one mark. Oh, here they come. Yeah. Here they come. Honestly, there's some pretty cows. They're very cool. <laughs> oh my gosh. Micah, is that okay? Is it So I've worked on other projects and this is a different and unique experience for me as AD because I get to come back and work with students and introduce them to, for the students that are working under me in the AD department, uh, just kind of introduce them to the ins and outs of how an AD department typically works. Um, we have a lot of fun. I have a lot of fun anyways. It's different and unique in that we're working with people that don't have a ton of experience on sets and there's a lot of freedom in there because we're um, you know, starting from ground zero, which is really fun. And yeah, it's, it's a blast. For the students and people working on this, I hope for, for them they can get out of this just the experience of working on a larger set and what it's like to be on a larger set so that when they actually go out and try to get uh, jobs in the industry, they can walk on a, a large set, a Marvel set or whatever, how big it is, and not just be overwhelmed with how big it is and the immensity of it. They'll, they'll been on a big set before, and so it's not that, won't be that big of a deal to them. So they can just go right to work and, and not be intimidated. My hat on straight, I can't stand it when it's not on straight. My name is Micah Senga. Here I'm the um, best boy, so I'm, I basically like manage the truck, the grip truck. There's a lot of differences because um, we have someone who's been working in the industry for quite a while, so he has a lot of things that are like really particular that I'd never learned before, like even some like basic things about how to set up a, a combo stand in a way that sets you apart from other grips that haven't been like in a union. That's been really cool being able to learn all of that, all of that stuff. Lights, ballasts ballast cables, all these sorts of things that we're going to use to illuminate the set. And I've been listening to my key gaffer and listening to what he wants us to get. And uh, we've kind of been doing that. And on set, it's going to be more of sort of a team effort where he tells us what lights we need or where he wants them. And we're going to uh, organize getting the lights there, getting them wired up sort of safely out of the way so no one trips on anything, and tearing it down after that.
my day-to-day -day tasks and my responsibilities on set are to fulfill the director's vision visually for the film that we're filming. The reason why we do a feature film with our students is to give them the opportunity to have actual experience on a movie set with grace included so that they're able to learn the responsibilities of the roles that they're in and really uh, make mistakes and, and learn from it. As a grip, my job is kind of like a set constructor where I make sure that all the equipment is properly set up for all the other departments like electric and lighting and such. I'm hoping to learn while working on the warehouse as a grip is how to properly use all this equipment and the naming of them because for example we had to take out six babies today and what babies are basically these small eyes looking stands that just have a cute nickname for them and so I'm learning cool new nicknames for all this equipment. My name is Amelia Hensley and I am makeup and then production design. My job is to make sure the actors uh, don't look shiny on camera, don't have any outstanding blemishes, and that they just show up good on camera, really. And then for production design, I get to put file cabinets and counters in and all that kind of stuff to make it feel more what the director had vision. Yeah. Also, this is caffeine free. They're trying not to get us too wired. The only caffeine you can get on a film set is from coffee. <laughs> Have you tried the coffee here? There's coffee. I, <laughs> I didn't know there was coffee. I think there's supposed to be. There's coffee. Our job is to take whatever the electric team does and shape it and control what the lighting is doing on set to fit the wants of the DP. Our work is what really gets shown in the final product because that's like the quality of um, the lighting itself. It's pretty cool though, I like it. There's many things I enjoy on movies that we do, but the biggest one is working with students. Uh, being able to help them grow and learn and become better at their craft. I'm hoping to learn teamwork. Um, coordination. The fact that it's a it's a feature film, this is going to be my first time working on a feature film. That's like a big step resume and career wise to be able to actually have that credit under your belt. And also I'm working in two positions that I'm like really interested in and want to get involved in, which is grip and camera. So it was a really cool opportunity and I've definitely jumped on board. I believe that people either make you or break you and I have to definitely say that the people on the set made me. I'm looking forward to like a lot more training and experience um, and also just like getting an, a, a better idea of what everybody else's roles are on set. I really want to learn um, as much of that as I can uh, during the feature experience. Just working with the crew people, get things ready to go, watch them cause the whole story to come to life, which is always amazing to see when you've written something than to see it actually happen. So. Awesome. Thank you so much. You're welcome. I'm done. Don't ask me again. <laughs>